This book is The Gigantic Turnip. Long ago, an old man and an old woman lived together in a crooked old cottage with a large overgrown garden. The old man and the old woman kept six yellow canaries, five white geese, is it canaries? I think it's canaries. Five white geese, four speckled hens, three black cats, two pot-bellied pigs, one bigger brown cow. On a fine March morning, the old woman sat in up in bed, sniffed the sweet spring air, and said, "It's time for us to sow the veg, to sow, sow, to do something to the vegetables." So the old man and the old woman went out into the garden. They sat. They did that thing to peas and carrots and potatoes and beans. Last of all. They did that to turnips. That night, rain fell, bitter patter on the garden of the crooked old cottage. The old man and the old woman smiled as they slept. The rain would help the seeds swell and produce fine, juicy vegetables. Spring passed and the summer sun ripened the vegetables. The old man and the old woman harvested their carrots and potatoes and peas and beans and turnips. At the end of the row, there was just one turnip left. It looked very big. In fact, it looked gigantic. It looks bigger than the old man. On a fine September morning, the old man sat up in bed, sniffed the cool autumn, and said, "It's time for us to pull up that turnip." And out he went. The old man pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but the turnip would not move. No wonder it's such a big turnip. The old man went to find the old woman. The old man, or、uh, the old woman, wrapped her arms around the old man's waist. Both of them pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old woman went to fetch the big brown cow. The old man, the old woman, and the big brown cow pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old man mopped his brow. And went to fetch the two pot-bellied pigs. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, and the two pot-bellied pigs pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old woman rolled up her sleeves and went to fetch the three black cats. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, and the three black cats pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, still the turnip would not move. So one of the cats twitched her tail and went to fetch the four speckled hens. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, and the four speckled hens pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So one of the hens sh- shook her feathers and went to fetch the five white geese. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, and the five white geese pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, still the turnip would not move. So one of the geese craned her neck and went to fetch the six yellow canaries. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese, and the six yellow canaries pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. The old man stretched his head. The animals and birds lay on the ground gasping. <gasps> I would be if I tried pulling up such a big turnip. The old woman had an idea. The old woman went into the kitchen and put a piece of cheese by the mouse hole. Soon, a hungry little mouse popped its head out of the hole. The old woman caught the mouse and carried it outside. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese, the six yellow canaries, and the hungry little mouse pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Pop! A giant turnip came flying out of the ground, and everyone fell over. The canaries fell on the mouse. The geese fell on the canaries. The hens fell on the geese. The cats fell on the hens. The pigs fell on the cats. The cow fell on the pigs. The old woman fell on the cow, and the old man fell on the old woman. The old man's the only one that didn't get fallen on. That night, the old man and the old woman made a huge bowl of turnip stew. Everyone ate as much as they could, and do you know what? The hungry little mouse ate most of it all. The end. 
thanks for watching if you like this story please subscribe